Allah continues dominating the throne of Africa, but this time in table tennis, thanks to Mariam al Hudaybi and Omar Asr. While in football, Allah is still supporting its same with new deals to save forever dominating the continent. It's Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli sign Al Badri for five years. Hamdi Abdel Qadir are back from launch spells. Tawfiq denies rumors regarding Benin and Tahir. Il Khatib congratulates the Lali Table Tennis team in winning African Table Tennis Championship. Amir Tawfiq, head of Al Ahli's Transfers Department, announced that Mustafa Al Badri, our new attacking midfielder, joined Al Ahli for the next five years, coming from Egypt's Sinintag Al Harbi. Tawfiq added that Al Badri's deal was completed fast, noting that it reflects the tight relations between Sinintag Al Harbi and Al Ahli. Al Ahli announced the return of our midfielders, Hamdi and Abdul Qadir, after spending last season on loan at Al Tahad of Alexandria Club and Smuha, respectively. Amir Tawfiq, Al Ahli's director of marketing and transfers, stated that the Jew are back after the amazing performance they showed last season. Tawfiq added that the return of Hamdi and Abdul Qadir reflects the success of the club's policy of sending players on loan to gain experience and return again to strengthen the squad. Amir Tawfiq denied the rumors that claimed that both Badr Benoun and Tahir Muhammad Tahir will be sent on loan. Tawfiq stated that Tahir and Benoun, Al Ahli's football first team too, are key players and that the coaching staff will depend on the team in the upcoming period. Finally, Tawfiq made sure to state that the club did not discuss the possibility of loaning out both players. Mahmoud Al Khatib Al Ahli's president congratulated Mariam Al Hudaybi and Hana Gouda, Al Ahli tennis table women players, after they secured the first and the second places in the African Table Tennis Championship, while Omar Hasr, Al Ahli player who also won the African Men Championship of Table Tennis after defeating the Nigerian Qadri Arona. Al Khatib acknowledged the efforts of the players and their determination to win the title. Finally, Al Khatib stated that having two players from Al Ahli in the final reflects the great performance of the team and puts more responsibility on the players to win more titles in the future. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Bia Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.